Hey everybody, as we move on with our videos, this is going to be an interesting video because <clears throat> it's going to take hours and hours and hours. It's a pretty heavy subject. But this first part will be kind of all-inclusive. It will work for all the other videos. And this one will be on YouTube uh, with Corey. And then the other ones will be available through the Portfolio Art School Master Program, which we're putting together now. But this is dedicated to Gortzika, who is from Germany, <clears throat> as I drink water. And um, she, she writes to me, you know, we talk, we never met in person because she's in Germany and I'm in LA. So basically, for the directionally challenged people out there, that's basically saying, I'm in LA and she's in Kansas. And you know, that how do you get to Kansas? I don't know. So, um, so that means if I'm in LA, because geography, this is LA and this is New York and everything in the middle is Kansas. Okay. So she's in Kansas, which is Germany. And, uh, she had this question, how do you twist a torso? And, uh, I said, well, it's easy. And she said, no, it's not. And I said, okay, well, I'll do a video for you. So we're going to dedicate this part to her and, talk about the basics on how to twist a torso and I'm going to draw it all out and everything and then I'm going to continue on to do a lot of different twisting torsos okay and that will take hours and that will be on the actual video site so basically uh, this is dedicated to a really really nice lady who I would love to meet one day in person if I could get to Germany which isn't too hard because if you're on your way to Kansas and you turn right get to Germany. I got a really wonderful email, a uh, text message, I guess, from a woman. I have no idea who she is. And she said, don't stop the humor. And uh, she said, some of us are still alive and like to laugh while we're learning. And I agree. Um, it's really fun. It's really hard to be this uh, ridiculous. Uh, I have to think about it a lot. And, uh, but it's fun and I don't want serious, boring stuff. I want to have some fun. Okay. So here we go. This is dedicated to Gorchika and this is how to twist a torso. Okay. So this is a sweat sock. It's, it, it looks dirty, uh, cause I took it out of my drawer, but it's not, it's clean. It's been cleaned with a highly powerful spray and wash, then put into a washing machine with another detergent and a softener and it still looks dirty because I'm kind of a freelance artist and we get to work at home which means we walk around our socks all day long and it's really kind of fun so let's see we're gonna start with this this is my rib cage okay and you can see my rib cage is minty fresh okay so I have a minty fresh rib cage which is going into what appears to be a dirty sock now there's symbolism to this sock because Whereas my lectures appear to be dirty and perverted, um, they're really not. They're just stolen from movies that are dirty and perverted. Okay, here we go. Um, we're giving up on all that stuff. I can't solve it. It's not my business. Okay, and here's my... So if you notice, this is very representational to me because I have an ideal male body. It's actually a perfect male body. Um, just floating in chocolate, but it's gonna, the chocolate's, it's gonna go away and then I won't be able to use this joke anymore because it'll actually be an amazingly beautiful body. Okay, so I need to stand up here. So this is my rib cage. See, it shouldn't be this round. It's got a calcite, cool. But let's say it is. Okay, so this is my rib cage and because I'm male, I have a very wide 90 degree thoracic arch, wide rib cage. And because I'm a male, my pelvis is narrow because men have flat asses. All of them do. Okay. So now if we notice this unit here is my rib cage. Okay. And this unit here is my pelvis. They have nothing to do with each other. This is the top of a cigar case that I use to put my pencils in. And this is minty, fresh, um, highly powerful, minty, fresh candy drops that will keep you from killing your students when you're working with them. Now, this is a clean, somewhat appearing to be dirty sock, which is the outside of your torso. So what you're going to do is you're just going to go like that, you see? 
So it's two different units. Like what does your rib cage have to do with your pelvis? Nothing. They're two totally different things. Like what does a sweat sock have to do with a, a spaceship and Germany and Kansas? Nothing. They have nothing to do with each other. But the students are putting the rib cage and the pelvis together into one unit which stiffens the drawing because you can't twist a one unit, but you can twist a two unit. So now if I'm standing and I'm going, oh man, so here's my head up here. Here's my rib cage. You see the pelvis is right here and you'll see these lines pulling off of the, the sock. That's your anatomy. Okay. And then if I go this way, now this part stretches and this compresses. And that's anatomy. And then I can twist like this, and I can twist and shout, see? Come on, baby, twist and shout. See, so like if you get on a dance floor and you don't wanna like sweat or anything, just bring the sweat shot, your sweat sock, and your little things, and you can just kinda of twist and dance and just stand there like this. Uh, you'll lose your date, but at least you won't be all sweaty when you're done. So. Here's the pit of my neck right here, and here's my pubic arch right here. There's a straight line. See it? So there's, so let's try and do that. So here's a straight line. Okay, so here, let's do this. Here's some tape, and we're going to take this, and we're going to put this tape right here, okay? So here's the pit of my neck, and this is Winky Land right here. So this is pit of neck, and this is the fun zone. And uh, this is belly button right here. So let's go ahead and, oh man, this is so exhausting. So here's a belly button right here, which is, can't be seen. So let's draw right here is a belly button. Okay, there you go. Hi, belly button, which is right here in, uh, right here. Okay, so this is belly button land. There's not a whole lot in here, just some gushy stuff, some muscles and some uh, vertebrae, okay? So you got C vertebrae up here which is cervical, then you have your thoracic, and then we come down here, which is lumbar. This is like, like at the beginning or the end of the lumbar, because the lumbar starts down here. Okay, so pit of the neck, belly button, and no man's down right here, because this is where no man will go, because I have daughters unless they're married. Okay, so pit of the neck, belly button. And then, watch, we can just kind of, oh, wow, check that out. Okay, so now, pit of the neck, pubic cards, and you see? Okay, and this is the head up here, and we go down, and then my leg, <clears throat> excuse me, it's in the morning. This will come down like that. So we go head, belly button, pubic arch, and then here's the leg under the head, you see? And then you can twist this way, but they're separate units. And then we go like that, see? And that's your torso. So really, all of your anatomy can be broken down into just one sweat sock. And then here's the booty side. So it's going to go like that. So here's your rib cage, and then your butt goes out like that. Now, if you're a male, you look like this because men have flat asses. But if you're a female, you'll have a narrower rib cage, and then you go out like that. You see, because girls have booties. So now we're going to go like that, and we go like that, and we come down in this butt right there. And you see how simple it is. So that's how we're going to do it. So let me draw this for you. This was for eight minutes. So this will be the first part of Corey, his uh, videos. And then I'm going to draw this out, do a bunch of torsos for Gorchika, and then I'm going to move on and do a whole series of different techniques of figures uh, that Gorchika sent out. And uh, so she'll have to wait and get it on the video, but she can always text me. Okay, you guys, it's not that hard. Actually, all of art and drawing isn't that hard. We just have to make it simple for you, okay? And let's have some fun. It's 2019. Let's have a good time. Okay, here we go. Thank you, Corey. And we're now going to move on to draw. Okay, here we go. So here's our torso. See, it moves and it twists. Okay, now they're going to put that over here. Now we're going to draw. And we'll grab, uh, let's just grab, I like red. Let's go with that. So you can see it. It's all focused. Everything's good. We're going up here, going down here. So this is where my field is, and over here, and over here. So that works. I want this to be 
super chill and super relaxed. Um, some people out there like the anal retina of everything's got to be perfect and <clears throat> it's got to be just right and they drive me crazy. Um, it doesn't always work that way, okay? Um, when you get out there in the studios, you'll start to realize that and the corporate stuff, like how do they even get anything done? So you're laying here. So we want to keep this super chill kind of a day in the studio. And you're actually in my studio. Um, my very sophisticated camera is my phone. And let's just keep it down to what's most important, which is the information. Okay. Now, Miss Gorchika, the first thing you're asking is, you know there's an S-shape in the torso. Where is it? It's Cal State Cool. So here's the back of the head here. Pinball machine here to the side of the rib cage. Pinball machine here to the pelvis. And this is your major narrative. So it's from here to here to here. And then here's the leg here. His nose is here, so we're gonna come down. He's kind of like a tripod, because his arm is going out here, and it's going slightly away, and then slightly towards. Look at that. Then the arm is going that way. So if you notice, there are no right angles. Um, I have an S shape here, and then I have this beautiful S shape here. If I did a right angle, it'd stiffen the drawing, and we don't want to do that, okay? He's looking down in the picture, but I'm going to make him look slightly up. Don't copy the pose, all right? As the great philosopher Jiminy Cricket said in the wonderful documentary Pinocchio, only let the model be your guide, okay? Don't copy the model. Um, I know the Atelier is making its way back and the sight size and all that stuff. You know, I just finished doing a bunch of portraits and I didn't copy. I used a lot of photos, but I didn't just copy them. You know, you want to make sure you're putting your own life into it. So, Miss Gorchika, this is your S shape here. Okay. Boom. Boom. And then you'll put in the secondary one. So this is your first process. Second process for the twist is going to be the pit, is your landmark. So here's the pit of the neck. You're going to walk on down. Okay. Now don't try this at the airport because like I am at the airport a lot. And when you're drawing somebody and you want to measure, like if you notice, I'm coming down here. It's one head down to the stern sternum, which is here. Okay, so we got that. You're constantly checking your proportions. We need the landmarks. But if you do this at the airport and you do it on the model, if you're drawing somebody, you're actually physically putting your hands on that person you're drawing, and that can get you in trouble. Because I've done it. And I'll put my finger on the person I'm drawing. Usually they're standing in line waiting to get on the plane, you know, and I'm drawing them. So I gotta put my finger on that person's, you know, sternum, and then I gotta go down the you know, the pit of the neck to the sternum. This is hard area right there. And then I come down here and that's the bottom of the rib cage. And then I go into like mushy zone here. And that's the first area because the person goes, what are you doing? Like I'm, I'm drawing your mushy zone and then they hit you. Um, so you get hit a lot when you're drawing like this, but hey, you know, we do it for a living and it's worth it. Now look, because I'm physically drawing on top of the person, I can feel where the top is, see, and I can feel where the side is. And here you have to make a decision. So we're looking, we're kind of looking down at the person. So we'll go like that. Boom, see. Let me bring that around. So 
So that's your first landmark. This landmark here, the sternum here, side plane, looking down at the figure. So there's your top right there. Coming on down, you're feeling your way. You're physically touching the model on your paper. And that's why cross contours are so important. Coming around this way, mushy zone. This is, you know, we'll leave this alone for right now. This is all sweat sock. And then we're gonna come down here. So this right here, if you notice, is your little canister. So that's this part, see, right there. And then this is here, but it's twisting this way, see? So we're gonna go like that, okay? So we got that. So we come here, and then here's the pelvis, which is going towards me, but I'm gonna make it go away. So you have to make a decision, which means you have to think. So here, here. So again, from the back of the head, pinball machine to the rib cage, pinball machine to the back of the pelvis, which is a box shape. So we got that. Then this leg's coming towards us. Keep everything open. Don't connect anything. Okay, for you animators out there, and we're doing um, our advanced series. This is going to be heavy in industry. Broken down very simple. So you'll actually hopefully be able to do it. Try to break stuff down really easy. Um, it doesn't have to be overly complicated. You know. If, artists were invent if art was invented by artists, how really difficult can it be? So then here's the cylinder coming this way. And then here's this leg going back. Okay. If you go to the supermarket and you look at a ham hock, which, you know, for me, I don't really do much. But, you know, I never really saw that growing up because, you know, we were allowed to have bacon in the house and that was about it. Um, but, you know, you're looking at that. It's like, oh, my God, that's a leg, you know. Holy shnikes. So, you know, you walk to the supermarket, you're like, oh my God, I saw that person at the gym. That's their leg, you know? Um, so, you know, just kind of whatever you need to make it as, as easy for you. So that's a cylinder. This is your sartorius muscle here, which is the longest muscle in the body. And I know there's a lot of guys out there that are going, I'll show you a long muscle. No, dude, that's not a muscle, okay? Put the horse back in the corral. This is a muscle, this is, um, well, you know, whatever you want it to be. Okay, here we go. Now remember that women have two knees, so this is, you know, if this is a female, which is a male, but women have two knees, so they have a right knee and a left knee, but men have three knees, they have a right knee, they have a left knee, and they have a weenie. So this is not a muscle, and we'll leave that alone. Here we go, perfect. So out there right now, some guy going, I'll show you. Yeah, right, 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 right. Okay, good. Yeah, we know you're, we know you're the, the best. Okay, here we go. So there's a cylinder coming towards us, and there's a box shape right there. And then it's going back. Okay, so we got that. Now over here, um, your arm, again, is going to float. So keep everything floating. Because for the animators, they're going to be doing what's called breaking joints. And uh, now breaking joints is not um, someone out there is going, dude, you know, if I break a joint, I can make more money, you know, because if, like, if I have like, like five joints, you know, and I break them, then I could have like more than five joints, you know, and no, okay, different kind of joint. All right. So these are joints right here. This is a joint. This is a joint. We're talking anatomical joints. Okay. But dude, it's legal. Yeah, so is this one. So here we go. Okay, so here we go. And then you go like that. And then leave these areas open because 
the term breaking joints is a Richard Williams thing. And uh, of course, you know, he's a genius. Um, but it's really fun because you can really kind of move this stuff around and give it like a whipping action, which is really cool. So we're gonna go this way. We're gonna go like that. And boom. And then this is gonna go, this is coming towards because we have like this arrow right there. And then this is gonna go away because we have a box shape right there. So it doesn't matter what you use. Like this is gonna go away from me because I have this and that could be an arrow. See, and that arrow is going away. And this is coming towards, and I could use, you know, like a box shape. It doesn't matter. Um, we're not grading you. Uh, we're teaching you. Um, so there you go. And then this is connected at the cavicular joint, which is here. And that's going to go to the acronium process right there. We okay, got a little bump right there on your shoulder. And there you go. And here. And then the hand is also going to float, a little box shape here, a little thumb coming out this way. And then he's got a finger going like that, and then another finger going like that, and there you go. Okay. Now, here's the fun part. Let's see how many minutes we have. So this is your lay in. So this is your gesture and it's taking you all the way to your, um, like, so I'm gonna bring it down a little bit here. Okay. So as I'm looking into the viewfinder of my camera, you can see where all these points are. Okay, so now, let's have some fun. Let's go to a different color. Yeah, this is brown. What's this one? This is purple. Let's do this. Now we're going to connect it. So we have origins and insertions, just like drapery. So this is an origin, and the insertion is at the pubic arch, which is here. You'll notice that when we twist, see that? These lines, they're going to pull towards. Gonna, it's just drapery. That's why, if you notice on our fundamentals videos, we spend so much time on drapery. Drapery actually is anatomy. So see how you got that? And if we twist this way, the drapery comes around. Like this could be your, this is your pelvis. That's the top of your pelvis. Now the distance between the bottom of your rib cage and the top of your pelvis is one fist. So this is gonna twist around like this. There's your belly button and that goes around that way. <clears throat> so if you just practice this, you've got your, your torso. And you've got your twist. And then you can use this for trees for horses, you know, that type of thing, like that. You know, here's a horse, um, here's a giraffe, see, like that, there's a giraffe. But right now, this is me, which is a perfect male body, floating in 10 billion pounds of chocolate. Okay, so now we come back up here, hit your landmark again. Walk on down, sternum, step in. Okay, navel, which is here. And there's an S shape here. So now we're gonna take this and we're gonna do what they do with the drapery and we're gonna pull that in. origin and insertion going all the way down like that. See that? Now if this is going into the torso this way,
we want to go opposite this way. And that will give you your twist. See that? This is going in here. This is going in here. And uh, this is your iliac crest here. Inguinal ligament. This is right here, your femoris triangle. This is where you're going to hide your M&Ms. Because TSA will not look there. Okay, there's really not much going in there. So because there's really not a whole lot in there, you can hide stuff. So I hide my M&Ms in there because as they say, M&M's will melt in your mouth, but not in your crotch. Actually, uh, a few weeks ago, boy, did I get nailed. Woo! Wow. The, I always joke about how, you know, I want to pay the guys to search me and, you know, have a good time. They had way too much fun. I was touched in ways that no man has ever touched me before or will again. And, uh, you know, being, you know, a heterosexual male... I would have, you know, paid some of the females to do it. But, hey, you know, what are you going to do? It was his, it was his joy. Um, when it was done, I, I was ready to smoke a cigarette. I don't even smoke. But, wow. I'm, you know, he touched me in places where I don't think I can hide anything. Okay, here we go. But he didn't check this. And that's where I would hide my M&Ms. So. Okay, so then here's your leg here. Coming around, and there's your gluteus medius and maximus. Now notice how this fits in right there. That's really important, and really important for your character design. Um, animation cleanup. They say, you know, they don't do cleanup anymore, and that's true, but now you guys have to do it. So, you know, when you're doing your character design, it's gotta be in drawing. And that's what we used to do in my department is we would, uh, you know, take animators roughs and get in there and really structure them out and make it look like everybody did, you know, the drawing came from the same pencil. Well, today, you know, we don't have that department anymore. So when you guys are doing your character designs, you have to make sure that every one of these lines, you know, wraps around and they all work. So now it's your job. So make sure that everything's wrapping, everything's fitting. Uh, one of the analogies I've been using lately, which I like, is let's say we take off from a runway in New York, right? We're going to land on a runway in San Jose. And uh, that's a little small piece of land, that runway, and you're going from really far away. So when you take off from New York, if you're just like, small percent off, you know, like 2% off or something like that, you're not going to get on that runway. Um, and that's drawing. You can't be a little bit off. you got to be right on it. So, like, here's that really long muscle. So we have our sartorius, which coming down to vastus medialis, which goes into the box shape of the patella. So you got to know your stuff. Okay, and then here's your adductors here. We abduct and we adduct back. So we're gonna go like that. And then this comes around this way. Now if this is coming in like this, just for the heck of it, go like that and bring it in that way. So we get that twist, okay? Then over here, we're gonna go for the pecs. Boom, so another landmark would be nipples. And we used to put one head down to the nipples, but we found that in some cases, the nipples were, you know, kind of flopping down here. And when you measured from the nipples up, the heads got huge. And uh, we also found that it even applied to some women. Um, yeah, ha, 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 right? You guys are thinking I was talking to women. Uh, so, you know, when you're my age and you have a pool party, uh, the flopping boobs are not the women. Okay, so here we go. And then we're going to fit the arm in here and come down like that. And then we're going to bring this arm overlapping. So now, 
we have this unit and this unit just overlap it with opposing curves, Cal State Cool. Cal State Cool is a term for opposing curves. I like to give silly names to everything so people can remember them. So this is Cal State Cool, this is Cal State Bitchin, and that's the wave, and those are your three notes that you use when you're um, drawing. I like musical notes. Okay, here's your cronium. Go here, pit of the neck. Pesius, sternocleidoid, mastoid muscle here. All the same principle, Gorchika. It's just connecting things with this opposing curves. It's not an S shape per se. It's two curves. It looks like an S shape. This one has nothing to do with this one, but they pinball to each other. All right, and I'll show you some more. So here's the deltoid here, okay? And then it comes down this way which gives you a natural cross contour, all right? Tricep going like this, and there's your pectoralis. Now, if it was a female, then the gland would just fit right on top there. Boom. So here's a box shape here. It's kind of a very sharp edge. So if that's the case, we're gonna go round over here. Everything's law of opposites, okay? And that's my lectures. You know, just think of one thing and then go opposite, and then it, the lecture. So then here's a box shape here. Bring that around and just go ahead and make it fit. Boom. And then I'm bringing the head back in the picture, his head is down. And then there's your rhythm chart. So we'll get this, uh, the series is really coming along. Corey's been doing a lot of editing. It takes a long time to edit everything. But again, we want it to be super relaxed and super chill and not this perfectionist thing because what you're gonna find when you get out there and you're working, not everybody is a super perfectionist. You want your work to be that way. You want your work to be super tight. But you wanna be able to make mistakes, okay? And, um, you know, you, you drive people crazy. And uh, I don't know, people may not wanna work with you because you're like, well, I want it perfect the first time. Well, nothing's perfect the first time. Here we go. Just make sure when you're done, you're as close to satisfied as you can be. But, you know, you look at movies, you know, there's all kinds of little flaws in there. The, the whole idea is that what you're drawing is kind of fresh and crisp and fun and relaxed. That's what you want to do. You know, let the audience become connected to it. So even here, this is like this finger. This would be the rib cage. This would be the pelvis here. And then you just connect them and you're done. So this is no different than this. From this stage, you're gonna then choose your finished technique. You know, watercolor, oil, acrylic, okay? Your lighting, all that kind of stuff. Like here, I might you know, put a shadow right there. Constantly checking proportions.
there's a box shape. Here's a box shape. And that's where your shadows will go. And then start building it out. Okay? So I hope that helps you. That's the structure part of it. And if this part's not working, then nothing else is going to work. You're going to be in trouble. Okay, so from here, it's technique. And that's it. Okay. Gorchika, I hope this helps you. Send me a text. Let me know. And Corey, I'm gonna, I'll send this over to him uh, now. And with the technology, it's great because it goes to my phone, right to my laptop, right to Dropbox, right to Corey, and he'll edit it, okay? All right, guys, it's going to be a really fun 2019. We're going to do a ton of stuff. A lot of it will be on YouTube, which will be free. Um, our videos, you get to own them. Uh, you go to um, Portfolio Art School, and you download them, and they're, they're priced to be very uh, reasonable. So... Anybody, um, anywhere can get the education. We're going to go real deep into industry stuff. And then uh, from there, you'll be able to um, hopefully have your career and, and live your dreams. We'll pay it back. Okay? But you get to own the video. You're not renting them. You're not doing any subscriptions. And, uh, you know, keep them to yourself. And, you know, don't pirate them. All right, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.